everyone welcome back once again in this video we'll try to understand that what strategy what roadmap you have to follow if you want to become a smart contract auditor if you are interested in the security field working on the protocol designing the architecture for more and hyper secure system in the smart contract or that's all we're going to talk about it i'm going to give you the basic foundation which you can start on and after that you're going to make it more complex based on the requirement based on the project which you're going to work on it but you have to work on your fundamentals you have to know about the basics things which are required to get yourself familiar with the smart contract with the architecture with the protocol with the white paper with the concession layer the gas optimization the proxy contract so you have to know all of these things then you can able to understand the hyper contract which we have on the chain and you can able to make it sense of of it and which you're going to utilize it to include in the contract for building a secure system so i'll give you the general overview of the entire roadmap which you have to follow if you're absolute beginner or if you have a basic experience in solid smart contract development then you can start with this and later you can make it more complex when you're going to work on the actual contract so let's talk about the foundation that what are the things you have to know so the first thing i want to bring on the table that you have to know what is blockchain how you can utilize it as a developer what are the tools what are the project you can build why this is going to be a very game changer when it's come to a decentralized financial system because if you look at the financial system there's a lot of loopholes we have that's why it's getting more attracting more company more investor to work on the protocol to design a better infrastructure for the banking system so you have to know that how blockchain is going to work in that we have couple of points which you have to know first thing you have to know about that how blockchain exactly work what is the consensus layer we have what are the models we have what is the difference between the pow and pos so you have to know because when you go to do the transaction on the blockchain every single blockchain follows some sort of consensus layer so you have to know about it consensus mechanism which is very important so read about pow read about pos after that you have to learn about the architecture of the ethereum that how blockchain dapp execute and operate on the ethereum chain once you understand that it's going to help you to transit to any other blockchain because all the blockchain follow the same architecture but there is a hair and they are a little bit different so you have to understand the architecture of the ethereum and how dapp exactly execute and work on the for ethereum you will find multiple resources which you can refer the one i would suggest you to read the white paper of vitalik the founder of ethereum you just go to his blog and read about all the models all the articles it will give you a very good understanding about the ethereum and how it exactly work after that you have to learn about ethereum virtual machine gas model transaction contracts accounts so you have to learn about this terminology try to understand that how the a transaction get executed how we can optimize the gas when it's come to the making the transaction what are the things we can consider including the contract so these are the models very important because you can have the same transaction but some transaction will cost higher cost higher gas consumption and some transaction will cost the lower gas consumption so you have to know about it you have to try to figure out the pattern which triggering some sort of unusual behavior in the contract once you cover this three fundamental about the blockchain after that you have to move to solid programming language so you cannot be a solid smart contract auditor unless or until you know how to write program and solid smart contract so you have to learn about function you have to learn about the ownership you have to learn about the construction you have to learn about the modifier the error model error component you can build in the contract so these are the important topics which you have to know and you have to also understand that what is the impact of these models in the contract in terms of gas consumption in terms of some in terms of vulnerability so you have to understand so you have to get yourself very much familiar with the solid smart contract programming language once you done with that then you have to move to ERC20 token ERC721 we have multiple model of non fungible token and non fungible token so you have to know that how you can simply include these kind of model in any type of business what it can bring what are the modification you have how you can use different libraries how you can simply do the optimization in the model in the ERC20 token or ERC721 how you can modify as per the business model so this is the very important thing we have multiple model around it some of the have the upgradable contracts so there's tons of thing we have so you have to learn about it erc architecture it will give you a very good understanding about the models we have multiple model with multiple features so once you're done with that after that you have to move to the security that what are the vulnerability can exist in the contract so you have to read about all the previous attacks were done in the smart contract and you have to try to get yourself familiar that how you can prevent so there is a popular attack we have is a reentrancy attack overflow and underflow so you have to know so you have to understand that in which version of solidity we have this particular problem called underflow and overflow so when you're going to interact with the existing contract which has the older version you can able 
to take the precaution and prevent your contract to get compromised. So you have to learn about all the hacks which are possibly can compromise your contract and your business. So these are the very important thing. So after that, you will have a pretty much good understanding about the entire blockchain and all the different models we have in terms of security, in terms of ERC20, like fungible one and non-fungible, in terms of sorry programming language, the function, the degradation, the gas model, the consumption, the accounts. So you have a pretty much good understanding. Now is the time to do the practice. Try to write more contract, try to test your contract and whatever you have learned, try to implement in the contract. Build at least five projects and test test with the old version and with the new version in that way you will increase your understanding so that comes the final step now you have to start learning about the advanced tool which exists in the smart contract development and smart contract auditing so there is a unit test we have there are multiple library which we utilize to do the testing so you have to get yourself familiar with hard at ganache we have a uh, multiple frameworks which you can use is to do the analysis of a contract how you can simply include the ai model to include and build your own infrastructure which can give you the better result in terms of auditing in terms of generating the paper then you have to learn about it constantly learn about these tools there is multiple tools are available which you can utilize to audit your contract so you have to find out which one is more compatible with you compatible with you and how you can do the basic testing because you have to know how to do the unit testing because that's the first test you're going to do after that you're going to simply do the testing with the tools which you which you can utilize it so this is going to be your roadmap which you have to follow if you really want to focus on solid smart contract auditing it's a very basic roadmap but if you give you 100 percent try to learn about all the topic we have covered and try to build project build contract it will automatically help you to give you a better idea that how exactly this technology work how you can utilize it to build a different project and build your portfolio so this will help you to learn Along the way, you will also work on your portfolio. So it's going to be a very beneficial for you. So that's the only thing I would suggest you. There's tons of things we can include, but it's going to be overwhelmed for you to comprehend and it's going to create a mess around your head. So I would just want to give you this basic roadmap, which you can simply follow for the next two to three months. Once you complete that, after that, you will automatically have the idea that how you're going to include more advanced topic on top of that, like how you can use more tools, more software, to make your work very efficient, very fast. It will come gradually. Nothing will happen in the very first day. When you start auditing the contract, you will automatically learn. You will find that how the contract is got written. So before you start writing any contract, try to find out the similar contract is already there on the change. Just look at the contract, look at the functionality, and then you can take the idea from there with that architecture and you can build the program around it. So you don't need to invent anything new. If you really have a business idea and if you want to include any business logic in the contract, you will find similar interface, similar architecture right now in, in the industry. All you have to do is to simply take the analyze it and that's what you have to implement. You don't need to invent anything. That's not your part. That's the part of the research and development team. Your part is to develop the contract and take the knowledge from existing function, existing contract. And that's what you can include it. In that way, you will learn faster and you will be have a better idea that what exactly you are developing. So I hope you have got an idea that what exactly you have to do. If you have any more questions, you can definitely let me know. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.